Hey folks, um, as you know, I challenged the number one most subscribed to atheist on YouTube to a debate, but he has chickened out. I even gave him like three weeks to uh, respond. He's just afraid to debate me. But um, someone just sent me this video and they said, Shock, you can't, I, you're not going to believe this. Um, the amazing atheist, I call him the amazingly hellbound atheist. I'm not happy about it. But he's very worried about going to hell. Um, and he talks about it in his video, I'm going to hell. And um, I don't know why he would choose hell. Uh, unbelief is a choice. But I want to show you, they, everyone's emailing me saying he messed up in this video. He clearly does not know the Bible. So check this out. Um, he says that the Bible doesn't say anything about hell uh, and especially the Old Testament. So I want to play something for you. He clearly has never read the Bible in his life. But watch this. I'm a grown-up. You can't use hell on me. It just doesn't work. I mean, I know you guys think you got a hell of a sales pitch. You know, if you look in the Old Testament, there's no real mention of hell or eternal torture or any of that stuff. That shit... What? Actually, um, <clears throat> wow, that's a major error. Um, let's, let's go here, and I want to show you something. It says, in the King James Bible, the term hell is used 54 times. 31 times in the Old Testament. Now, um, check this out. And 23 times in the New Testament. So, I hate to embarrass uh, the amazing atheist on YouTube, but he just made a boo-boo. I hate to turn the world of atheism upside down. Um, oh, and by the way, if you guys want to see how he, he's afraid to debate me, click below this video where it says more info. Um, but do you know that uh, he actually admitted, uh, he did, that he cannot prove that atheism is true or accurate. You'll see him right below here if you click more info on video. As he waves the white flag of surrender and he admits he cannot prove that atheism is true and accurate. Thereby making atheism a faith-based humanist religion. The madness of atheism though, folks, is that it's faith in nothing. So let's go back here. He says hell is not mentioned. Oh, contraire. In the King James Bible, the term hell is used 54 times, 31 times in the Old Testament, 23 times in the New Testament. Now, what is the meaning of the word hell in the Bible? In the Old Testament, it's translated from one word, sheol. In the New Testament, hell is translated, and there's three different words, Gehenna and, and so forth. Now, not only that, um, if you go to, oh, hell is not mentioned. Look, if you go to the New Testament, here's some passages right here where it's actually mentioned. And it's interesting that Jesus Christ, because he loves us so much, he spoke of hell more than anybody <clears throat> else in uh, the Bible. And, um, and by the way, I want to tell you guys something. If you've never seen the movie, The Passion of the Christ, go to my website and you can watch the whole movie go here shakanow.net right there you can watch it for free and it's just a, a wonderful movie on salvation and how you can have eternal life so you can listen to jesus christ the most famous person in world history or you <clears throat> excuse me or you can do what jesus christ said you don't want to listen to blind guides don't listen to someone like this. He's just a blind guide. Jesus said, don't listen to the blind guides. They're blind. They'll lead both of you into the pit. So he messed up on this video. Uh, he clearly says it doesn't mention hell. Contraire, 54 times uh, and 31 times in the Old Testament. There's He doesn't know his translations. Hell uh, is translated from one word, Sheol. So... Once again, the amazingly hellbound atheist has messed up. Now, also, if you guys would like to debate me, uh, converse with me, so far not one atheist has been able to conquer me in debate, go to shakanow.net and click enter chat room. If you'd like to listen to some of our previous debates, click right here where it says music and podcast. This part's awesome. This is one of my favorite parts. You can listen to different debates, not just where you listen to me, but I have some debates. William Lane Craig defeats Sam Harris. And Sam's bizarre worldview of atheism. You got to hear that. This is a debate where the atheist starts cussing during the debate. Um, you can listen to my radio show, National Atheist April Days, uh, National Atheist Day, April Fool's Day show that we did. But um, 
he just messed up. He clearly has not read the Bible. Guys, listen. The good news is, is that we definitely can achieve eternal life through the finished work in Jesus Christ. It's awesome how much Jesus Christ loves us. Even the amazingly hellbound hey, atheists folks, can be saved. Hold on a second. Started. Oh, you hear that? That's my radio show starting. Yes, so if hey, you folks, go there, a lot of things to cover, so let's you'll actually started. hear my radio show. Um, I so, want to give you my on. website real quick. You can get some uh, videos there. Here you go. Go here, watch the entire movie, The Passion of the Christ. Um, it, it's about two hours and one minute and 22 seconds long. So if you can't watch the whole thing, just remember down here where the timer stops. And just you can pick it back up and watch it again. This part here is a beautiful part. Um, I just want to share something with you guys. Where, where there's a guy, where there's a guy named Barabbas, and biblically speaking, that's a typology of you. And in this shot right here that you're watching, here's Jesus here, and they bring out Barabbas, who's basically guilty, and he's he's uh, in prison, and Jesus goes in place of Barabbas and Barabbas is set free and he goes back out into the crowd. You and I represent Barabbas as Jesus goes in our place and dies in our place and you are set free through the finished work of Jesus Christ. So God bless you guys. Stop by our website. Remember, do not listen to the words of fools. Check out shotgunnow.net instead.